Thanks for staying with us. Still celebrating this Monday, and we're going to be talking about the Nigerian chess master, coach, and founder of Chess in Slums. Uh, chess in Slums Africa, Tunde Onokoya. He has set remarkable achievements of breaking the Guinness World Record for 58 hours of non-stop chess. We celebrate his dedication, his focus, and passion for the game. According to him, the idea was to do this to raise money for those who couldn't afford a better life. And we have to say congratulations to Tunde Onokoya. I mean, he made Nigeria proud over the weekend where he was able to Did. break the Guinness record uh, for 58 hours. I think the, the record at the time was 56 hours. Mm -hmm. And he was able to break <coughs> it by 54, yeah, 58 hours. Trust Nigerians were there to celebrate with yes, him. So. Mm. And of course, that led me to go and even, because I've known about Tunde Onokoya, but I never really... Paid attention. Paid attention, enough attention to him uh, until this happened and I had to go back and read and his story is such a profound story. But let me come to you. What are your thoughts on the celebration, its achievements? How did he come across to you? This is a man who had a vision, which was to help uh, vulnerable kids to come out of poverty by playing chess. And he started working on that vision. He started following up on that vision. He did not relent at any yeah. point. He did not give up at any point. I'm sure if you have a conversation with him, he will tell you some of the challenges he faced mm -hmm. to even get children to the point where they are playing chess. But he kept on it. And, you know, deciding to do the Guinness uh, record is also a way of putting himself on the map yeah. so that now he can have access to help even more people. This is an inspiring life mm -hmm. and an inspiring journey in the sense that a success, somebody told me recently that success is not just for you. When God is blessing you, it's not just about you. You should be thinking of the people you want to impact with that blessing. And this is where, hmm. you know, that, that's what just blew my mind with this Onokoya story. It's not just about me. I just want to gain this recognition hmm. for myself. Yeah. I'm gaining this recognition for myself and for the benefit of the many thousands of children right. that I'm going to be helping out there. This is a very fantastic one. And I love yeah. the fact that Nigerians came out in their droves to support him, sing his praises, encourage him. Ah, Nigeria, when it comes to things like this, we ah, yeah. carry on. Yeah. 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 Chica, I especially love um, the fact, two things, two things for me, his um, humble beginnings. I'm a lover of grass to gray stories. It just shows me the resilience of the human spirit, the Nigerian can do spirit. I also, my entire life is a story or a testament mm. of grass to grace. I'm not, not that I'm saying that I'm at the grass, the epic or the epoch of my... Yeah, in you know, a world yeah. on a journey. Yes, exactly. So that is very inspiring for me. This is somebody who... Started out learning chess at a barber shop in Ikorodu. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's just so sweet to, to me. And the fact that his mom at some point couldn't pay his school fees, and so he had to stay home for a bit, you know, after finishing primary school. And most importantly, the fact that an uh, overlooked sport is now bringing yeah. or garnering global attention, especially within our spheres right here. That is so, so, so intriguing to me. Mm -hmm. It just says to me that sometimes everybody is focused, laser focused on just one thing and one thing yeah. only. If you want to make money, you have to be involved in tech, yeah. or you have to be involved, you have in to be this. a doctor. You have to jack back and go and do medicine abroad. Who would have thought that something that somebody genuinely had a passion yeah. for, saw it through to the end, would bring him so much recognition, yeah. would create so much impact in the lives of less privileged children yeah. at, like this. Right. And so this is a wake-up call to you know, pretty much everyone. Yeah. You know, that one thing that you love so much, right. it easily can be monetized. It can set you before kings. You just need to stay mm -hmm. steadfast and continue on that path. Papa, your thoughts on this, this, this achievement? Um, well, my initial thought was, it's just, it's going to be 30, it's under 30. This is a very young person. Eight years old, yeah. Yes. No. <coughs> it's going to be 29 this year. It was 29 last year. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. oh, okay, October go ahead. last year was 29. It will be 30 in October this year. Um, I loved the fact that you, you see, we talk a lot about success, mm. but we're not talking enough about significance. Yeah. And he has chosen, it's not about even grass to grace, like wealth. But he has chosen a path of I want to make impact. impact. I want to be. I want to be <coughs> a significant person, and as a young person, thinking in that line must be encouraged. Because if we increase that le line of thought and reduce the line of thought of let's just make money, Kinshati Lowo, anyhow, I want to just mm -hmm. make money. We will start changing what we see as a trend among young people in Nigeria now, where we see people going into internet fraud just to make money, going into money rituals just to make money. And feeling like it is only when I make money, my name will be heard. 
It is not only by making money that your name will be heard or you'll be, or be, or you'll be respected or you will be um, applauded. It is not by making money. You can also make impact and you'll be respected on a bigger scale. You'll be applauded on a bigger scale and money will follow at the end of the day. Yeah. So I am celebrating today for uh, choosing a life of significance. I'm celebrating today for um, pursuing his life interest without letting anything hold him back. And yes, Nigeria got to support. It's a lie when they think that anybody will support you when you want to do your thing. Your dream is not big enough. If your dream is truly big enough, people will support it. Yeah. I, I feel like he showed us that. And we've seen several of them. So there are more Guinness Book of Records to be broken. Mm -hmm. Go and find your own and break it. I know what I, what I loved the most about Sunday's <coughs> story is the grass to grace, great, um, the um, grass to grace. Is he right? Yeah, yes. that's grace, grace story. Because his father was a downfall driver. His mother was bent down select. <sighs> they didn't have anything. Eventually, the father was driving taxis. His father had to sell his taxi to put him through school. Just like you said, his mother didn't have any money. She now she offered her son to go to a school that she would, she would serve them for free. She would do their, be their cleaner for free mm. just to get him an education. He's the first child. The two, I think there are two boys or three boys. And he has adopted children also who have are, who are, who are, who are adopted his own name. And he, he wasn't... He wasn't speaking well enough. You know, the, his father said he wanted him to be speaking English like all these other mm. people there. And this is the woman, he came from the poorest the of the dream. poor. Mm. There were 20 families living in his face, mail face to where he was living. They were sharing one toilet, one, 20 families. That's his foundation. He went to school, this, this small knowledge, mm. and it was that barber shop you said that he learned this chess. He was seeing them play chess. Mm. Now asked Bros B to teach him mm. how to play. And from learning that, gradually he began to get involved in competitions. Small competition, they gave him 10,000 naira here, 2,000 naira here. So, you know, but you see, the point is that even in his small milestone, small, small success, he was thinking of where he's coming from. Yeah. Was thinking, how do I teach my people this, this stuff that isn't giving me 10,000 naira? Yeah, how can I them. teach Transfer one of those people who I'm coming from to liberate them? And, and, and that's what he did. And that's how he started. And when he realized that people were not depending on him, he needed to go more, I got more. But you see, what, what, I, what I wanted to take more from this story, a lot of young people just want to leave the country. And the things that you cannot be, what do you call that thing? You can't be a lizard in Nigeria and become an alligator. It is what is the, is the impact you do here, is the, is, the, is the resilience you build from wherever it is you are, you are here. You that you saves are. you wherever you are, even yep. in Nigeria or outside. Mm -hmm. So it's that thing in him that caused him that, you know what, I'm going to be great. Regardless, if from the, he, he traveled, he ended up playing for the first time in 2022 in his entire life. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. This is a man that he is. He had been on record for several years before then. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's, that's what I so said. It, it is it, that dream of, is it, is it, is it, we have to amplify oh. the story because. This is of somebody who was, was he, last five, six years ago, he was just trying to struggle. He was struggling. Mm. And now he's, and now he's global. He's doing interviews, global interviews. It, the, the journey is sweet to applaud now. But I love the fact that Mariah took the time to break down how bad it was. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because when you don't know how bad it was, you feel like you're you the worst person. You're the one facing the greatest yes. battle in the world. It's a lie. You still have, you still have much more yes. than the people. And it, does, it doesn't write, it doesn't write you. Don't write yourself. So the reason why I was so passionate, I'm so passionate about it is because every young person I meet is on their way out. Mm. Because they feel it's until they leave yeah. that there's success. Mm. But the truth is that in the little thing you're doing here, you are consistent exactly. about it and you are impacted. What's that word you use? Significance. significance. Yeah. Making it very significant. Some Somebody you will be noticed. You will be, because no, a lot of people are doing things that are significant anymore. Yeah. People are doing a lot of flashy, flashy things. Mm. But if you focus on your own thing and do it, you will pop. Yeah. So one thing is, everybody cannot be great at this level. Exactly. And yeah, that's, that's okay. That's true. Uh, some people have their parts cut out for them that they have to go through a certain childhood to be able to get to where they're going to. For other people, they may have to sit back and find that thing. So the advice to the young people is find that thing. Even while uh, Jesus was trying to uh, do all the miracles and the prophets in the Bible, there's always one question that he kept asking. What is that in your hand? Hmm. Everybody here has a gift. Mm. What is your gift? Find it. Sit down with yourself and find that gift. And sometimes the gift may seem silly. Imagine him coming mm. to Baba shop to be playing chess every day, mm -hmm. and they are not chasing him to go and watch play. Go and, mm -hmm. You see, it's chess. You want to play. Your mates are doing mathematics. Your mates are doing this. Your mates are doing that. Yeah. But find that thing that you're passionate about. Stick to it, and it will come. Unfortunately, we are raising children who do not have passion because life is now so easy for them. Mm. They have everything at their beck and call, mm. and they can't even sit down and think. You know, sometimes I, I used to ask myself, if I grew up with so much toys, 
I wouldn't have been able to hone the sort of skills that I have today. Hmm. Because then I, I'm playing with this. Once I do like this, they are giving this to me. My health is giving this to me. My, you know, yeah. and I, I wouldn't be able to look within and decide, okay, let me create kites to fly. Hmm. Let me create butterfly to yeah. do this. Let me create yeah. that. So we too are spoiling this generation. Yeah. Hmm. They have everything at their beck and call. They are always on these gadgets. There was something Top I said uh, last uh, Friday, saying if you are always on this gadget, you may not be able to create this sort of gadget for other people to be on. They say person where they dance, no, they watch. Hmm. Your job is to perform. You can't be performing and watching the crowd. Yeah. You perform, and then the crowd will watch, watch you. you. So let's begin to re-educate ourselves and the young people around us. What is that thing you have in your hand? And it's okay if you want to travel. It's also fine. You never can tell where your miracle exactly. is or where you can break it. Mm. But do you have the capacity to break it, whether you're here or there? Uh -huh. Is what we should be focusing on. Fantastic. And I think final thought on the matter as well. I think it's very important that we all appreciate the fact that nothing is guaranteed, you know, in spite of how high we dream, you know, and we keep tugging at it, uh, we would need to, everyone would individually for themselves have to frame what greatness is for them. For someone like me, greatness is not becoming the richest person in the world. Greatness is not having a white picket fence. What greatness is for me is that I am able to live a peaceful life Mm -hmm. I'm able to impact those around me such that I leave a lasting legacy. And when my name is spoken, mm -hmm. it's warm <coughs> thoughts that come to mind. Mm -hmm. That's the, that for me is what greatness is. Being able to take yeah. care of things that I need to take care of, you know, being able to have that freedom to actually go when I want yeah. to go and just being comfortable, but also seeing the people around me thrive as I thrive. So mm -hmm. this is not to say, just like you said, that because he has won, now everybody mm -hmm. should everybody not buy that chest. <laughs> and it's, it's just, <laughs> find, just find, find your, your own. own. But you know, and, and Another thing that inspired me about Tony story was he, he had a health condition. I didn't, I didn't even realize yeah. that. I found out this morning that he had a really, yeah, they had a hip surgery. So when he was born, a nurse gave him a wrong injection mm. oh, wow. that caused some kind of, I, can't, I don't know the medical Fresh term right term, now. Yeah. Now he has serious pain every single day. Yes. And they told him that he might not have a long time to live. So he's trying to impact the best. But thankfully, he was able to do some surgery, I think, last year or so that, like, that bought him 20 years, mm. at least two. So, because he was living every day in pain. So he felt that, God, am I the only person in poverty and then this daily pain? Mm. And the pain was so unbearable. But and as a poor person, he couldn't even, he had to just endure the pain. Mm. But now that he's able to do a surgery, he was able to, they, they, they bought him about 20, that can, that can work for 20 years. Hopefully, not 20 he years. May have to Technology might have been yes. improved for him to be better. Oh, but, but this hip surgery, he did. So this is the man that, I'm, I was really not, moved. not just grass. Grass, it's pain. pain. You turn your pain to purpose. Family now disappeared. Brother yeah. went this way, daddy went that way, mother went because, they were, because if you're in poverty, everybody fend for yourself. For yourself yeah. So he was just by himself, fending for himself. So and levels. this is he, now he's New York, Times Square. <laughs> yeah. And everybody, Big all the news years. Um, they they so say the gift of a man makes, makes room for him. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, but many of us don't, many people like this, said, we don't, we don't know the gift in our hands. Mm. And the gift in your hands, you can discover it in different places. Different places. Um, so they discovered his own gift in the barber's shop. Yeah. You might discover your own by volunteering somewhere. Mm -hmm. Just be <coughs> open to all the options available like to you discover say. your gift. Mm. Because when you discover it, that's when God will make room for you mm -hmm. in Times Square or in whatever square that God has desired yourself. for you to be. Yeah. We had Pelumi meet um, the governor, yeah. get a handshake. We get had um, Hilda, um, Bassi. We've had several people, in my, and, I'm, and we're giving an example because this person broke record. So yeah. there are other places where people are making significant impact. impact. God bless you. <laughs> they, there's no better place to make impacts than in a country as bad as the challenges Nigeria is facing. Yeah. So God has put you here for True. a purpose because the problems here, you have a unique ability to yes, solve. Yes, the challenges If you yeah, find your gift, you will shine here. There's so much yeah. darkness. The person I want, the only person I want to see right now mm -hmm. is parents. Mm. I would love to interview his father and his mm. mother. These are the two yeah, people sure. I would love your view to interview because yeah. I want to know what they are thinking, what's going through their yeah, mind, the sacrifices they've so, made. Yeah, you know, so this is a woman that was willing to clean for free a school. I'll wash her toilet. Just make sure my child is educated. Yes. Bless father her. in heaven. Hi. Bless her. Sacrifice. Bless I need to see her. that woman. Sacrifice. Okay. That is all we can take on this segment. Congratulations again to Tunde Onokoya, the entire chess family in Nigeria. Congratulations to you. And and we are, I think I heard that he was able to raise over 130 yeah, million. Yeah. Yes. 130 million naira so far. And hopefully we can do what Much we can more. do to even support him further. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go on a break now. We'll come back to our next segment. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back.